2004 Club Car DS. Got a solenoid click. No run situation. First thing you want to do is just check all the cables. Be sure to, we don't have one losing connection. Alright, so look into it and see what's going on. What I'll do is get a voltage reading on the whole series. On Club Car, most of the time you're, you got one coming off the last batteries on both sides, the drivers and the passenger side. So let's see what we get in here. Hooked up to the positive over here, negative over there. Wow. Not showing, but I was showing 51 volts. Yep. 51 volts. So we're not charger got a fuse on these club cars right at the back side of the charger looks good and here and see what Jason's found out with this club car, the one we had the solenoid click and and no run situation. What you got, bud? So once we uh, found out we had all our battery voltage where it needed to be and up to par, we had to dig in a little deeper and find out what's working, what's not. I got my little digital test light here and started going at it with all my wires and stuff. And in this 16 pin holder here, you have your throttle sensor and your negative powers and your positive powers that control the controller it lets the controller know what to do and what not to do and we come to find out that down here you see this yellow wire and this white wire here well that's our positive power it's our positive feed out of the controller and once I got to go in here and stuck my probe inside the pin there found out we've got no positive power whatsoever so of course that's not gonna allow the golf cart to run and then the white wire is, is exactly the same, except for we should be getting a lot less voltage reading because it's just a transfer wire. But when you stick that in there, in the probe, in the hole, again, we have no positive feed. Mm -hmm. So that's how we figured out we got a bad controller. We gotta let people know too that that is a, what is that, a 50 volt or? 24 volt, uh, and it's it's 50 volt compatible. Yeah. Yeah, so, you so don't don't use your 12 volt test light at the house because yep. it will pop it. I promise. Yep, and this one's also digital, and and here's a example for you to see. You know, there's our our full battery pack voltage from the big wires. So the high voltage that's it. It shows you your high voltage is good right there all together. So that's how the controller's working. It's our low amperage stuff that's not working. So we got to get a controller going. Yep. All right, we'll get the controller and follow up on this thing here. and see got that controller in today back here and see how this deal is going that's the club car that has a solenoid has a solenoid click but no go situation we checked it out Show the bad controller. See what we got this morning here, Jason. Oh yeah. 